Good evening, fuckers. Uh, it's been a little while since I did uh, a last um, Elite Dangerous video. Done a couple of live streams, but uh, not actual videos. So uh, I thought, yeah, I thought, yeah, fuck it, I might as well do one. Um, so uh, I am in HIP uh, 22460, which is probably not going to come as a big surprise to many people. Um, all hell is, uh, yeah, breaking loose here, and the war against the Thargoids is, uh, well, it has really stepped up, because old, um, uh, yeah, what's his name, well, uh, uh, the cunt anyway, who is building the, uh, the super weapon, which is being built, well, actually, it's being built on the mega ship that I'm currently docked on the Bright Sentinel. It's going to then be uh, positioned on Planet 10B, which uh, we are orbiting, and that is supposedly going to, uh, yeah, bring about an end to the Thargoid War, which of course I think we can all be pretty certain is not going to be how it will work out, but. Uh, as it is, there is at least um, another couple of weeks of this war to go, and I am probably going to stay out here for that entire time. Because I've been quite enjoying it. Um, since I arrived here, and I came here on Monday, pretty sure it was Monday, yeah. Um, I have killed 127 uh, Thargoids, which, you know, okay... It's not a vast amount, but it's, it's a reasonable amount. Um, so of those 127, uh, 112 were scouts. Yeah. Um, 13 were cyclops and 2 were basilisks. So I've trebled my uh, basilisk uh, kill count, uh, which uh, is not bad. Uh, I'm kind of hoping that uh, in this video, when I do eventually uh, head over to the uh, AX Conflict Zone, I'm hoping there will be a Basilisk there, so uh, I actually get a, uh, a Basilisk kill, uh, yeah, recorded, if I can do it. I may have destroyed uh, two of them since i come out here, but yeah, I've been destroyed myself a, a good, it was at least three times, I think it's four times, so uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not exactly, uh, you know, a, a guaranteed victory if I do see one. So, um, yeah, the conflict zone that I'm heading to then is not too far away. Uh, but it's this one. Uh, so it's a medium intensity AX conflict zone. And the reason I like going there is, is because there is a capital ship there. Um, an Imperial one at that, and what little role play I do in this game, you know, I'm always supporting the Empire. So, yeah, the fact that it's an Imperial capital ship, yeah, I'll go and help that out. Um, <clears throat> and it does really help uh, as far as getting through the, uh, uh, the conflict here as well. So, um, yeah, I, uh, that's the one for me anyway. Um, in case anyone is unaware, I strongly advise not to go to this one, the Oath of Tyndarius. Um, that is uh, an Alliance mega ship. It's not a capital ship. The Alliance doesn't have capital ships. Um, but uh, this will come as a big shock, but it's bugged. And if you go there, you keep getting bounties for no reason whatsoever. Uh, you keep getting messages saying that you've got a bounty uh, for... Uh, firing on their uh, defense uh, cannons or something. Um, Frontier developers are aware of it, but as always, they ain't doing fuck all. Um, it will probably, you know, they'll probably put a fix for it in uh, update 13, you know, after the event and after it's it's been needed, you know, the usual routine. So my advice is, uh, yeah, fuck that place. Um, Mega ships, don't bother with them. Capital ships, yeah, they're all right. So, what ship am I using? Well, 
and you can clearly see uh, what type. I am in a Fed Corvette. I'll we'll have a look at uh, my uh, outfitting on this thing. So for the hard points, I have uh, dual class 4 beam lasers. These are pretty useful when you're going after scouts because I don't really want to be wasting ammo um, on my uh, you know, Guardian weapons uh, going after scouts. So I want something decent. Uh, so, yeah, class 4 beam lasers. Um, beam lasers aren't the best weapon to use against scouts, but they're certainly not terrible, anyway. Uh, remote, release, uh, remote release flak launcher, which I've never used in um, an AX conflict zone. I've never needed to. Uh, but it's there if I decide to uh, go up against a lone Thargoid in uh, you know a non-human signal source. Mm. And then uh, weapon wise, uh, dual class 2 uh, Guardian Plasma Chargers, these are the pre-engineered ones that you get from Salvation, that's the cunt, I can you know, finally remember his name. Um, and these are fucking great, these weapons, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan. And then in class, w the two class 1 slots, I have dual class 1 Guardian Gauss Cannons. These ones are not the pre-engineered ones. I think the pre-engineered Gauss Cannons are fucking shit. Um, I know Jimbo76 uh, rates them, but, uh, you know, I fucking well don't. I, I, I think they're useless. So, uh, that's uh, weapons, utility mounts. I don't think this is going to come as any big surprise here. Uh, so, I've got, to, yeah, the old shutdown field neutralizer, Xeno scanner. I have a heat sink launcher, which, of course, has um, the additional ammo capacity mod. And everything else, uh, shield boosters. And they are all heavy-duty shield boosters with super capacitors. You do not need to worry one bit about resistances when you're going up against... Uh, Thargoids of any kind. Core internals, again, no big surprises here. And uh, military grade composite with heavy duty armor, deep plating, experimental. Power plant is overcharged. I'd rather I didn't have to. I'd much rather have armored it, but I can't. The power requirements for this ship are too great. But I was able to put thermal spread on it, so that's okay. Um, yeah, the thrusters, dirty drive, tuning and drag drives, big shock. Uh, just as big a shock as this, frameshift drive, increase FSD range with mass management. Uh, and I still can't do 18 light years in this thing. So, um, yeah. Life support is reinforced to grade 4. Um, it's the highest I can do it. Power distributor, um, yeah, charging the hearts, super conduits, no big surprise there either. And uh, the sensors, lightweight, you don't need long range. Well, actually, in um, conflict zones, long range would be quite handy, but uh, yeah, I don't have them. I've got, I've, got, yeah, I've got lightweight, so, you know. Finally, with the optional internals, uh, 7A uh, standard shield generator. Um, which is reinforced with a uh, high cap. Uh, again, pretty obvious for an AX ship. Uh, this is the only time I use reinforced shields. Uh, I don't like putting reinforced shields on any other ship type. Um, you know, yeah, okay, your overall shield strength is, is great, but your resistances are just as shit as, as they were to begin with. Because with... Uh, uh, Sargoids, resistances don't matter, but yeah, that's the only time. So I have dual um, class 7 shield cell banks, both 7A. Neither of them have been uh, engineered, and there's a good reason for that. Um, not so much in AX conflict zones, but certainly in uh, non-human signal sources. If you've got uh, corrosive damage, you may need to burn it off rather than use, uh, uh, you know, the um, decontamination limit controller. Because if you try using a decontamination limpet, it just keeps getting shot and, and destroyed straight off the bat. So, yeah, I, I need to um, burn these off. Now, if I engineered this with the uh, specialised, uh, it reduces the thermal output. 
by a fair bit actually and there is nothing I can do to get the heat up high enough to um, burn the uh, um, caustic uh, uh, damage off and if I put the uh, fast charge on there then um, yeah the the heat is unchanged um, compared to unmodded but also uh, it recharges less uh, shield than um, yeah than it would if it was completely unmodded which to me makes fast charge utterly useless so yeah um, I keep these unmodded uh, they're fine the first of many hull reinforcement packages all of my hull reinforcement packages have uh, yeah heavy duty uh, with deep plating big shock so yeah two of those we have a guardian module reinforcement here 32 ton anti-corrosion cargo rack um, you never know what sort of uh, you know stuff you might uh, collect so I just think fuck it I'll uh, yeah I'll, I'll use the anti-corrosion one obviously I got this as uh, a result of doing uh, one of the uh, community events I forget which one it was and um, yeah I wanted a 64 ton one but yeah didn't uh, contribute enough for that but 32 yeah that's fine our important package here again and uh, yeah, yeah usual engineering same with here um, and then we have a class 4 one here there is module reinforcement package I really want to have a Guardian one there, but um, I only feed this once I got out here. And this, uh, uh, yeah, this this mega ship that I'm on, you can unlock all of the Guardian uh, modules and that from here, including the um, engineered weapons. But um, you can't actually buy any of them, which is really fucking useful, isn't it? So, yeah, I couldn't get a um, Guardian module reinforcement, so I've got a standard one there, but that's only a temporary thing. Well, it has been doing me fucking well, so I, I might actually keep it. Um, so, yeah, the Class 3B uh, Xeno Olympic controller, um, I, th th this write-up tells you absolutely fuck all about what it does. But, yeah, it, it has a uh, repair Olympic controller, um, decontamination limpid controller which are the two you really need here also has the the research limpid controller or whatever it's called um, which yeah you're not going to be doing that in the middle of a fucking war zone so yeah don't worry about that too much uh, so there we have me guardian hull reinforcement package so I do have some uh, caustic resistance but uh, yeah just the one to be honest I don't really need more than one so you know as you will see. Now, at the risk of making this intro even longer, uh, I do have a few tips that uh, I uh, wanted to uh, share with, um, yeah, uh, sort of helping you out if you are heading into uh, AX conflict zones. So, we will start with a moment of high originality with uh, tip number one. And uh, this is to not ignore Thargoid scouts. There are going to be a fair few scouts in uh, AX conflict zones of, of any description. Don't ignore them. I mean, okay, on their own, they don't do a hell of a lot. Uh, their damage output is relatively small, but like all Thargoids, their damage will bleed through your shields, so you will take sure uh, you will take hull damage every time they uh, uh, fire on you and every time they hit you. But yeah, it's very small when you've only got one of them. Trouble is, in AS conflict zones, you never have just one of them. There's usually a, a, a good fucking number of them. And if you ignore them because you're going straight up for the uh, interceptors there. You can very quickly have like five or six of these little fuckers firing on you. Then you are in trouble. Because, yeah, that many of them firing on you. Yeah, you are going to start to notice, first of all, your shields plummeting. 
and uh, yeah your hull is going to be taking a lot more damage so don't ignore the scouts in fact I would go so far as to say prioritize taking out the scouts um, the interceptors are going nowhere uh, you know they are strong enough they're tough enough uh, you know they're gonna hang around so you won't miss out on uh, you know any combat bonds from taking them out if you focus on um, uh, scouts to begin with so um, yeah that is uh, tip number one uh, tip number two there are a lot of NPCs in uh, AX conflict zones that are on your side use them um, they are great at taking out uh, scouts because most if not all of the uh, AX uh, yeah, yeah, all of the uh, like friendly NPCs in AX conflict zones are armed with AX multi cannons, and they are the best weapons to use against uh, Thargoid scouts. So scouts don't tend to last very long, and also when um, you're attacking an interceptor and its shields come up they don't stay up for very long either because all the NPCs are just relentlessly firing at this fucking thing and, and its shields are just like gone just totally stripped away so yeah, use them um, take, take advantage of it of course another way to take advantage of them cannon fodder um, you, know, you are not the only ship out there that's firing on all of these uh, uh, Thargoids so you know, if you're taking on an interceptor, let these other NPCs come along. They can take the uh, interceptor's blast, whether it's its lightning attack or it's, uh, you know, firing the uh, caustic missiles. There been plenty of occasions where I've, I've seen um, uh, interceptor firing shitloads of caustic missiles. None of them are coming to me, though. It's all going to all the NPCs that are all surrounding me. Yeah, I'll take that. So, yeah, make use of the NPCs. Uh, there's plenty of them there. And a good number of them are capable of surviving right through to the end. So, yeah, that is a good one. Uh, going on to tip three. This one may not apply to everybody. It certainly applies to me, though. Um, I've always been very reluctant to use... Um, either premium or standard ammo. I always just re, you know, if if I even do synthesize ammo, I always just synthesize basic. No, use either standard or better still use premium. Um, if you're only going up against scouts and uh, cyclops, it's not so important. But if you are going up against uh, you know a basilisk or higher, it becomes very handy you know it's 30 percent damage bonus on on your plasma charger and on the gauss cannons um yeah 30 percent uh damage bonus uh, on top of those as well um it it fucking makes a difference so yeah use them um i always kept thinking well i've got all these materials but i want to use them for engineering but you look at the materials um Guardian technology component there. Um, other than unlocking uh, Guardian modules and weapons, and I've unlocked all of them, that's the only time you use them. And the other ones, manganese, filament composites, focus crystals, they are not exactly difficult to find, any of those. So, yeah, it is not a waste of materials. In fact, far from it, it's what they're fucking there for. So, um yeah use uh you know use the uh premium ammo um you know it, it it does make a difference it's absolutely worth doing so there's tip three uh tip four we're back over here again um if your shields come down or if you've taken, uh, you know, a lot of module damage and you're starting to have a few problems, use the reboot and repair. Because 
this is not a um, non-human signal source. There are other ships here. It's not just, you know, 1v1, you versus the interceptor. And of course, interceptors, their sensors are really not very good. They rely on, on heat signatures. And when you are doing the reboot stroke repair option, um, your ship shuts down. So your heat levels go to zero. The Thargoid Interceptor can't see you. Um, but it can see all the other ships still in the area. So he's going to bugger off and start attacking them. So you may take a few hits, but it's not going to be very much. And uh, when the reboot uh, sequence is finished, your shields will be back up and they'll be at uh, 50%. And it is uh, done a damn sight quicker than waiting for your shields to come back online. So that is very handy. Um, in a similar sort of way, uh, when the uh, Thargoid does the shutdown thing, when it sends out the uh, electromagnetic pulse. In an AX conflict zone, it is not the end of the world. I mean, it's a pain in the arse. I, I don't like getting shut down. Um... But, yeah, again, you're not, you, you can't move, your ship's offline, your, your thermal level goes down to zero. The interceptor can't see you very well. So again, he'll then bugger off and go after the ships that he can see. So, it's, it's okay, it's, it's not bad. So, yeah, tip four there, um, yeah, use the reboot and repair option. Uh, right, final one, tip five. I know there aren't very many people that do this, actually, but uh, I'm one that does it all the time. Uh, when you go to um, a uh, non-human signal source and you're, you're after um, interceptors, I always carry like a few um, uh, metal alloys with me. And when the uh, interceptor scans you, it just sort of like starts buzzing off its tits and, you know, it's, 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 it can't do anything. Uh, it, it buys you like, you know, a few extra seconds to, uh, you know, get yourself in a position and, and uh, begin the uh, yeah, attack on the thing. And also, if you are uh, in a bit of a bad way there, you can drop a, um, a meta alloy and the interceptor will go after it and pick it up. In an AX conflict zone, it ain't going to do any of those things. Uh, for, you know, they don't stop to scan you. You know, they know why they're there. They know why you're there. It just they just come in and get straight on with it. Um, <coughs> so there's no point taking um, no point taking meta alloys with you to uh, a uh, uh, an AS conflict zone, so save them. I'll just flogged all mine. So there we are. That's uh, five uh, tips to um, yeah to do okay in AS conflict zones. Now comes the big challenge. Um, <laughs> I'm going to try and put these all into practice. So, yeah. Um, I will jump cut here. And uh, we'll be back as we are about to drop into uh, the Ace Conflict Zone around the INV Audacious Dream. Right. We are about to drop in. Now, I have no idea what um, interceptors are going to be here. Because it is sort of random. Take long for the uh, come up. Alright, so straight away got an annoying variant. Uh, the, the ones that are really annoying of course, are the regenerators. So they are the ones you really want to take out first. 
but you can see already just how many scouts are in the area so yeah don't ignore them that cut down. You don't always see the uh, combat bond reward uh, being shown there but you do get it so you know, don't worry about that. So here we have a real cut. So anyway, as I was saying um, yeah the the types of uh, interceptors um, the kind of random um, you could get four uh, Cyclops and to be honest if we did get four of those it's not going to be that difficult you could get two Cyclops and one uh, Basilisk yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Could get two basilisks, uh, which is, yeah, not ideal. I'd certainly give it a fucking go, but uh, yeah, I'd, I'd rather not have that. And most difficult of all, you could get one Medusa. Again, so you can see how quickly these things are being whittled away by the combination of the uh, mega ship and the uh, NPCs here. I'll oh, just get a mega ship, a capital ship, a fucking mega ship. Right, so interceptors coming in, which knackers the sound. Not as much as when they uh, release their um oh yeah, when they release their electromagnetic thing. Now I can't see where they are, so I'm gonna use it anyway just in case. Yeah, because I was just in range. That looks very much like a basilisk to me. Alright. All I can see now are the um, interceptors. Now they are luring us quite away from the. It's too dark, I can't fucking see. But they are luring us away from the um, mega ship. Yeah. This one's coming in a bit closer. Let's go after him. Side they are. That's taking a good amount of hits. I'm pretty sure that's. Uh, right, let's have a look how big's a swarm. 64. Yeah, that's a basilisk. And it looks like it is too. These fuckers take a lot of hits on the, when the hearts are exposed. Yeah, the heart's no longer exposed there. Now it is. Because he fucking swings around. And that shot missed. Bastards are a real pain in the ass because they are so fast. They can get out of range really quickly. It doesn't help that there are not a lot of NPCs around here. Again, I'm fucking behind him so can't see him very well through the distortion, but he's out of range already. got a hard expo so I was going to say I'll give this thing a go but yeah, I mean fucking need 
that, don't ya? Right, so I've got a uh, Marauder firing on me, so let's go and sort this fucker out. Hey, look how many more um, scouts have come in. Once I've dealt with this fucker, I may be able to use a uh, uh, Olympic because all the other uh, Thargoids are currently just going after other ships in the area. So he's down. Yeah, let's. Uh, That's just updating about the uh, current um, CG event. Right, so caustic damage is removed. Okay. Yeah, so someone shot at the. Uh, uh, the limpet, but it, it had done its main job anyway, which was getting rid of the uh, decon, you know, get rid of the caustic uh, uh, effect. Uh, let's him down. The thing is, I haven't checked to see what other variants are here. I mean, there could be a fucking uh, regenerator here. It could be a berserker. But, um, no, oh well. But anyway, if there is a regenerator here, well, I think they're going to be a bit too late for this cunt. Alright, so, we've got this scout here. Okay, there are two others. So that scouts an inciter, but that's not a particularly important variant. One of the tricky things uh, about these AS conflict zones is avoiding all the fucking caustic uh, clouds and that that are all over the place. Especially when an interceptor goes. So that's him down. Uh, there's the inciter that I saw earlier. He's not really done a lot. Alright, that's him down. There's another inciter. drawback with using a ship like a, a fucking Corvette is so slow. So it got me quite away from the uh, uh, capital ship, which I really don't want. I want to get back there a bit lively. Uh, 
that fucking time. Not very helpful. So, what sort of state is the basilisk in? <laughs> Untouched. It certainly does look like there are two basilisks here. Now, so I've, I've taken out two in total since I got here. They were certainly not at the same place at the same time. I certainly have a go at uh, trying to get two of them here, but it is not going to be easy. Especially when I've done something here that I would normally be advising people don't do, which is to uh, allow myself to get drawn away from the capital ship. Now I was sure I was going to go into that cloud. Right. I don't see any more scouts here. Let's see what we can do with this cunt. Don't look like anyone else has done a hell of a lot with it yet. Okay, as soon as I say that, it's crying out that it's taken a hit. Now I can't see a thing. What was that? And the exposed hole's gone back in again. didn't take long for it to come back out again, so it must have taken a fair bit of damage by now. There we go. Alright, so first heart down. Alright, we've got another scout here. Okay, we've got another couple of them. Fucker's taking on uh, someone else, not me, so I'm not worrying about him. Berserker uh, there. Do we get shot of that cunt? So this Marauder and that one that's right next to it, these look like the last two here at the moment. There's another Berserker. Another one that's down. That fucking... Uh Shields are still up. Doesn't look like there are very many NPCs going after it. Gonna fly right into that, aren't I? Yeah. Right. How far am I from the? Uh... So I 
causing damage and moves. I'm going to bump up the shields a bit. After this one, okay, I've said all this before, but I think after this, it is back to the basilisks. Oh, there's another scout here. Marauder. There is a fucking regenerator somewhere though. Right there. I have you, you little shit. like the uh, interceptor is getting a bit closer again. Alright, that's him down. Much left of this lucky little cunt. More of them fucking coming in. Uh, I say one down. So what state is the basilisk in there? Yep. This one has yeah, it, it, the heart's exposed, but that's all. It hasn't lost a single one yet. the one that's still okay. I don't really want to go after that one. I want to go after the, this one. Now, how far is he from the mega ship? The capital ship. If I say mega ship, you know what I fucking mean. Exposed heart. Can't see it now. Practically at point blank range there, I still couldn't fucking do it. Trouble is, it's so heavily armoured. Its armour is uh, something like 400% compared to a Cyclops. So it's so much uh, more tough. Now it looks like, yeah, quite a few, quite a few more scouts have uh, shown up. And it's it's hot. Oh yeah, it's no longer exposed. Now it is.
again. It's fucking gone in. I need more NPCs to help us out here. Uh, let's go back after them, all these fucking scouts that have shown up. Oh, except now he fucking wants some of me. So, we destroyed two of its hearts. And this is what we get as a result. I've also got three scouts firing on us. Four of them now. I can't see where the fucking NPCs are. They can't be any NPCs in the area because every scout is now firing on me. Just heard one go though. Hopefully that was the uh Megaship uh, in it. I really do need to. Uh, I was just about to say I might be able to use uh, me um, limpet. No, two of them here. I'll just blast it as soon as I fucking launch it. This is, uh, yeah, this is fucking annoying, this, uh... Alright. Alright, let's risk it. That's handy. That's the undamaged one. Where's the damaged one gone? Okay, I don't care about that so much now because uh, caustic damage has been or caustic substance has been removed. So. Really need to find that other uh, basilisk again. Alright, so that fucker that's firing on me is a regenerator. I definitely want to get that cunt. See, so and now I've got three of them firing on us again. And there's an Imperial Cutter right there, but he doesn't seem to be doing anything. Get out of the way of that! Ah, oh, you fucking shit cunt! Right. Chance it again. I was going to say, it doesn't look like there's any close by, and I've just seen one that is most certainly close by. Okay, right, well now I don't care that it's close by. I can still go after it. Right, 
Right, let's go back to the mega ship and see if we can find the uh, damaged basilisk. So he, he won't have left, but this is the problem with um, as the uh, conflict zones go on and on, everything gets so spread out. You need to try and find where the fuck everything is. Right, that's uh, you bet your life that's the one that's uh, undamaged. Certainly looks like it. Yep, it is. And I don't want to go after that one. I want, I want to find the fucking damaged one first, and finish that fucker off. So it looks like he has drawn most of the uh, NPCs away with him. Right, well, I think I'm going to have to do a jump cut here uh, and go trying to find. Wait a minute, is that it? That's it. He's fucking seven kilometers away. So this is where, if I'd had long range um, sensors, yeah, that would have been like really handy. What we really need to do is try and lure him back over to uh, the... Um, it looks like that's what those fuckers are doing. Trying to lure him back over to the uh, capital ship. Right. Well, while he's doing that, he is taking a bit of a chance, but I can do a bit of uh, repair work to myself. I'm down to 86, which immediately is not bad. But considering I haven't taken out a single interceptor yet, yeah, that's that's not so great. There are more intercept, uh, more NPCs heading towards him, so yeah, I'll start to uh, slowly make my way there. We'll see what we can do. Alright. Well, he must have taken a fair few hits, so I think that if we can expose the heart, it shouldn't take much for the, uh, the heart to then go down. Yeah, see, so he exposed the heart straight away. Cannot see a fucking thing, but I mean, look how fast he, he's getting away from us. That arse the spikes, no. We've got to get that out again. Again, he's just fucking flying away. Right, well, while he's fucking off doing that, then, um, Let's re 
supply these with a premium. Right, that one. And that one. Alright. So now I've got premium ammo in the uh, Gauss cannons. And try and do more damage per hit on this thing. So it won't take so much to uh, destroy the hearts once they're exposed. Plasma charges are already doing a decent amount of damage, so I don't need to worry about uh, using premium ammo on them. Well, at least not against this. If I'm going up against uh, Medusa or Hydra, then yeah, I probably would. It's just standing there, but the fucking distortion means I can't see where... There we go. I think that fucker's trying to use its... Uh, it was aiming it at me. And it's fucking gone in again. See, it just doesn't stay out for long. And then it keeps f flying off out of range. So I, I hate going after Basilis more than any of the other variants. I'd rather go after a Medusa or a fucking... Um, Hydra, because the Basilis are the fastest and they are constantly, they will just turn around and will fly out of range. Nothing you can do to keep up or, you know, or nothing. Looks like Donnell, I oh, can hardly fucking fly straight. This is where it will use its uh, energy discharge thing. No. We've got... What a surprise. Hey, we are now 15 odd kilometres away from the uh, capital ship. So we're not going to get any help from that thing. Now I've had this happen before. Oh, okay. It fucking managed to uh, get rid of it right at the last second. But yeah, I've had it before where um, the caustic damage was just always there. And even after using a... Um, uh, anti-corrosion um, you know, decontamination limpet it was still there there was so much of it so we got that heart exposed pretty quickly and of course it now fucking runs away Another thing that doesn't happen, uh, I've noticed this only seems to be in Odyssey. It certainly was never the case in uh, Horizons. 
the uh, firing rate of the uh, Gauss cannon is much slower. Has it already fucking gone in? Yeah. And back out again. And down. Alright, so is this going to be the time that it will use the... Uh, Yeah, there we go. Alright, and now... Oh, this fucking thing. It's fucking flying back, don't we? It's gonna try and destroy the limp here. Yeah, I knew he fucking would. completely missing the uh Right, I need to uh oh hang on no, why didn't my shield cell bank power down? No, I'm out of range. I'm trying to, yeah, burn the uh, caustic damage off. Does it shield back up again then? I think it was. When you see videos on YouTube and they're showing you, you know, oh, this is how to destroy a uh, basilisk, they're always very heavily edited, so you don't actually see just how many fucking shots it takes to uh, not only expose the heart, but then to destroy them. They never show you that part. fucking NPCs are. That is, yeah, that's, that's all just, uh, so there's me and a fucking vulture that is in a really bad way, and that's it. damage there. Alright, while it's running. And of course, here it comes. because you are on your last legs. Alright, that's 
place it shields down. And that's in down. There you go, 24 million. Another uh, Vasilis done. So that's the third one since I came out here and the fourth one that I've done in total. 56% hole, 52% shield. I mean, I've been better, but I, mean, I have been in far worse state as well. So let's head back to, well actually, let's do some uh, repairing while I make my way back. It's not going to be the most interesting viewing, but let's try and get the uh, hole Yeah, try and get the hole higher anyway before uh, we go after, as you can already see, the other um, basilisk there. And I have a fucking horrible feeling that is still 100%. It also looks like... Okay, I was going to say, it fucking almost looked like the... Uh, Uh, the mega ship was the only thing firing on it. There are some other ships in the area though. Gonna get a bit more repairing because that repair limp it did fuck all by the looks of it. So yeah, it's on 100%. It hasn't, it hasn't even been scratched. I mean, surely that first heart must be so weakened now that it just needs like one hit and it will be out. Oh, let's take a look. Fucking hell, that wasn't even me. <laughs> now, who the fuck is he going after? Hey, don't get any ideas, you fucking little cunt. Uh, they, yeah. See, I had the finger on the uh, mouse button to uh, to fire the gauss cannon much sooner than that. Considering I fired blind into that, that, that weren't bad going. <laughs> yeah, 
air motor fucking change. I mean, look how fast that fucking caustic damage is going. Right, while I'm doing that, uh, yeah, that shield cell bank's empty. Let's hope power up the next one. And, uh... Right, where's me heat sinks? Basic heat sinks. It takes so long to uh, fucking synthesize the uh, heat sink. There we go. Right, so I've got a new set of uh, heat sinks and uh, shield cell banks. It almost looks like that fucking thing's running. I mean, it's not, but I mean, how fast it's, it's just, you know, pissing off. Not attempting to uh, attack or anything. <laughs> Now it is. It's firing all on me. Pretty sure that went through it. Ah, oh, you! That was entirely my fuck up there. Fucking what? Fucking need that, don't I? That thing is just constantly firing at me. There's all those other ships in the area, but it's ignoring them. And again. It must sort of see me as the main uh, threat against it. Sake, I'm pressing the uh, buttons for the uh, Gauss cannon, it's just not doing anything. It, it doesn't charge, there we go. Fucking surprise. Again, look at the fucking rate of it. It seems to be getting closer to the uh, capital ship, which is certainly what I want. It's now also coming closer to me, but at least that's happened. Yeah, you were too fucking late, you little cunt. Didn't realise its shields were still up. <laughs> Bad old way, yeah. One 
once again, pissing off. So he goes after the other ships uh, when he's well and truly out of range of me. So I'm going to have to, yeah, get in a bit fucking faster. I do not have very many uh, gauss shots left. starting to get a bit desperate but I am determined to do this. I've never taken out two basilisks in one uh, you know, sort of like one go. I didn't use a fucking repair limpet. So yeah, that's happened before. I, I had so many uh, corrosive missiles fired at me that uh, the repair limpet didn't do, it didn't remove it. Okay, now it has, but I mean, look how my, look, my hole is now down to thirty percent. Don't care that it destroyed the limpet; it did its job. Gauss ammo again. Dad, I'm sure that fucking shot went straight through it. had the last heart destroyed. Not by me, but I don't care about that. It's down to 1% and it fucking got its shields back up. Fucking caustic damage again. So if I do manage to take this fucker out, there he goes.
Yeah, uh, you can hear the fucking uh, cockpit going. There we go, right. Sargoid threat neutralised, so it's a 10 million bonus. But now a Hydra shows up. Uh, look at the state of this ship. And now it's going <laughs> to throw a fucking Hydra in. Uh, but uh, yeah, I, I am in no state to uh, take on a Hydra, so it is definitely time for me to piss off. Uh, 60 million 540,000 there. Let's uh, find a uh, nearby system. Let's find one that I've not been there before. There we go. Right. And we'll uh, jump there. Fucking amazed my uh, friendship drive is still working. But th yeah, there we go. That's the first time I've ever done that. Uh, so that's two uh, basilisks destroyed in, in the same conflict zone without leaving to uh, get any repairs and that done. I mean, I badly need them. This ship is in a bad old way. Hold down to 18%. I've got uh, serious damage to the cockpit. Okay, the copy hasn't been blown, but nevertheless. Uh, okay. I mean, yeah, look at all the module damage here. So the Gauss cannons, 64 and 61%. The plasma charges, though, not bad. Um, so what is the uh, cockpit canopy? 49%, yeah. <laughs> Right, um, so we'll, we'll go back there now, now that we are safe. And yeah, I'm, I'm not bothering with the uh, community event uh, for, you know, to hand in um, combat bonds. So uh, yeah, I'll just go back to the mega ship that I was at at the start of this video and uh, get those handed in it always takes a fucking eternity just for it to fucking come out of here I click back fucking go back there we are so I will do a jump cut then and uh, I will be back when uh, when I've landed we'll see how much uh, this uh, the repairs are and how much the um, you know, restocking ammo and that is and yeah 60 million five hundred forty thousand I somehow doubt the repairs are gonna be too big a, a dent in that so uh, yep back in a few <sighs> maybe sort of a celebratory cup of tea as well which I deserve because uh, yeah, first time I've ever done that. Um, destroyed two basilisks in the same instance without, you know, leaving and coming back. You know, leaving for, for repairs and coming back. Obviously, I can't do that because it's only me here, as has been the case ever since I arrived. Um, the only person I really wing up with uh, regularly nowadays is Panther UK. He keeps saying that he doesn't want to uh, attack Thargoids and he keeps winding me up something fucking fierce with his uh, Thargoid lives and matter fucking bullshit. Um, I can't help thinking that the reason is he knows that they're going to blow the shit out of him. And let's face it, the first couple of times, in fact it may be like the first you know, three or four times you, you go after Thargoids, or Interceptors anyway, um, yeah. That is almost certainly going to be uh, uh, the case. Once you you know you you got the hang of it, there is a sort of pattern that you need to follow when you when you're going after them. And once you've done it enough times that you can remember that that pattern, you know, the 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 attack uh, sort of yeah the, the attack waves that uh, it does towards you and how you need to respond to those. You, you certainly won't have any trouble against Cyclops. 
Um, Basilisk and up, yeah, different matter. Um, but I mean, as I'm showing, it, it can certainly be done, you know. I mean, I do not consider myself to be good at Star Guide combat at all. You know, I mean, there are videos on YouTube of people uh, destroying Hydras while they're in Sidewinders. Uh, and here's me, like, you know, dead fucking chuffed that I've just been able to destroy two Basilisks, and I'm in a fucking Fed Corvette. So, yeah, I am not great. I've never come close to destroying a Medusa. The, the most I did was in one well, of the AX conflict zones out here. Got three hearts down. Uh, and then, yeah, I went boom. Um, so, yeah, I, I certainly wouldn't consider myself um, good at it. But as far as, um, you know, ship uh, combat, it is the greatest challenge in the game by a fucking distance. So uh, that's why I was quite keen to uh, come out here. And uh, I, I think it would be good if he did come out here and, and, and give it a bash, but yeah, I very much doubt he will. Um, uh, Jimbo76, uh, well, I mean, he did start playing the game again for a week or so, but he's gone back to his uh, avoiding the game like the plague routine, so the chances of him coming out here, I think there's more chance of me becoming the next Queen of Mars. So, uh, yeah, that, that's not going to happen. Anyway. Um, so, right, refueling 422. Uh, now, this is the one here. 184,694. That's my total repair bill. Um, in other conflict zones, I have paid over 200,000 uh, in repairs. And... Um, yeah, I hadn't destroyed two. Uh, <laughs> I had destroyed two bastards in the process. I'm going to constantly keep go, going on about that, but I am genuinely like really fucking chuffed about doing that. So I've, I've never done it before. Uh, so you know, yeah, I am really pleased with that. All right, fully repaired. There we go. So the restock, uh, forty-eight thousand eight hundred fifty. Uh, it, it's all fuck all, you know. Um, now there will be extra ones here from the uh, advanced maintenance, 1138, you know what, I can live with that. So, uh, we'll redeem then 60,540,000 uh, in combat bonds. Which means I've now passed the uh, 26 billion uh, mark in the uh, balance. 26 billion, 22 million, 42,561. Not bad at all. Here we go through to the inventory. So I only used 17 limpets. Um, I can't remember if I said that in the tips, but uh, I mean, obviously you've got to bring uh, uh, limpets here. I've never come... I think this is the closest I've ever got to using all 32. So, you know... Yeah, okay, I, I could probably get away with having, you know, a 16 capacity um, cargo hold on, on this thing. But... Um, yeah, if I changed it, so I did only have 16, you can guarantee that would then be the, the, the next time I went out uh, after Thargoids, that would be when I would need the 32. So yeah, I'm going to stick with the 32 for, for this one. In fact, I'm going to restock uh, my uh, limpets there. There we are. So that was the um, AX uh, conflict zone um, around the uh, INV Audacious Dream, uh, the Imperial uh, capital ship. I highly recommend heading out here. Uh, you know, it's 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 fucking great here, um, and I for one also want to be here when this you know these. The, the story 
um, develops and and we see the uh, the result of uh, this this mega weapon uh, being deployed. I do think it's going to fail, or at least it's not going to have the the effects that they really want. Um, and that is when on foot Thargoid combat will come into it. But um, yeah, if you want a good challenge uh, in space combat, and if you are sick to fucking death of random crashes to desktop because you're doing stuff planet side, and believe me, I fucking well am, then um, this is a great place to come. One caveat though, if you've got a fleet carrier, don't fucking waste your time trying to get it out here. I've managed to get mine here, but they're only just. I, I found one space after a lot of searching, and that was back on Monday. Um, so, yeah, if you know someone out here who's got their carrier here, you know, oh, like I do, um, use their carrier. You know, um, if you want to use mine, um, it's going nowhere, you know, it's going to be out here, uh, you know, for the duration of this whole Azimuth uh, saga, so it's probably out here for at least another couple of weeks. So yeah, if you want to use that, you know, and call your, uh, you know, your specialised uh, AX ship over, you know, be my guest. But I do recommend uh, coming out here, because, uh, yeah, great challenge, and believe me, I, I can say it, yeah, <laughs> absolutely truthfully, because I'm sitting here feeling a bit smug, uh, but yeah, the sense of satisfaction you get when uh, you, you're able to take out um, the uh, interceptors, uh, it's fucking good. Um, yeah, so there we go. Um, I might do a live stream um, while I'm out here, especially if there are any other pilots that uh, come along and want to wing up with us, because I would love to be in, like, you know, a, a ship that is still in good enough nick to take on the Hydra at the end. It would be fucking great if we were able to take out a Hydra. I know it's very, very unlikely that we will, but... I'd, I'd just love the chance, you know. Um, so, yeah, if, if there is anyone who is interested in uh, coming out here, winging up and doing it in a live stream, let me know. Yes, I know. No one's going to. You're right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that's this one done anyway, so, uh, yeah. Good stuff. I am happy which is a fucking rare event, to put it mildly. Uh, so that is this video done. So now, go away.